Hey, what's up, guys? Do you recognize me? I'm the dick at your work that doesn't follow any of the rules but gets away with it? Yeah! So many people are like, dude, how do you do it? It's actually pretty fucking easy. So I'm gonna show you how to turn virtually anyone into the office asshole. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, if you give a shit about anybody other than yourself, this probably isn't gonna work out for you. It's been scientifically proven that having a conscience directly affects your asshole ability. You can't let insignificant things like right and wrong get in your way. You're a dick, you gotta own that. First up, email. Nowadays, people email way too much and there's so many parts to them. I like to make people realize how much they email by only responding with incomplete or convoluted answers. Now the goal is to get as little accomplished as possible in one vague sentence. There's no room for niceties because that would make the fucking email longer than it should be. Like who has time for hello? H-E-L-L-O, hello? Five seconds of my life I could have got back. Besides, if you put very little in writing, it's really hard to prove you did anything wrong. Work hours. See, most of you are going about work all wrong. Instead of working longer hours or working harder, just work less and pretend you're working harder. Duh. Work hours are meant to be more of a guideline. Sure, you could come in on time, not take two hour lunches, and not leave early, but that would impact your social life, so fuck that. I waltz in and out whenever I feel like it and nobody's the wiser. Why? Because whenever they catch up with me, I just start acting really busy and ask them a bunch of questions, and that forces people to answer my questions so they forget all about my two hour workday. Work smarter. The refrigerator. Oh wait, you wanted that coffee creamer that you brought in and emblazoned your name all over? I used it up and threw it away, so you were left to wonder whatever happened to my sweet dairy companion. But boy was it delicious! My advice is that next time you just buy a bigger bottle, cause that thing went pretty quick. I think the workplace should be about community and sharing, so it's only logical that you do my grocery shopping. Su casa es mi casa, right? Environment. Speaking of food, I think I'm gonna go microwave my leftover fish in that kitchen with zero ventilation so my coworkers can spend the next seven hours gasping for fresh air. But there's actually a purpose to this. See, the smell distracts them from all the office supplies I'm walking away from their desk with. <laughs> I found a great way to keep coworkers on their toes is to play the where's my pin game. When you're at someone's desk, ask them to borrow a pin, but don't give it back. Then go visit other people's desks and somewhere along the way, dump the pin off to an unsuspecting coworker. It's hilarious to watch the recipient try to figure out what to do with this foreign pin while the owner's frantically combing the halls looking for their long lost ink infused pal. <laughs> this also gets people walking around the office, which I think positively affects morale and prevents my coworkers from becoming fatty. You're welcome, Betty in accounting. Miscellaneous. There are also a lot of little things you can do to help maintain a respectable asshole status, like blocking or stealing people's parking spaces, dropping your snot rags in a conference room and not picking them up, leave the copier set at 99 copies, start browsing through your cell phone while someone's trying to have a conversation with you, or move someone's chair to a conference room and don't put it back. But the most effective move of all time is to promise to meet an impossible deadline and dump the work onto somebody else. This just helps your coworkers realize how much they can do if they just their minds to it. It's inspiring. Sure, it caused their spouse to leave them and they nearly committed suicide, but they didn't. And they met the deadline. I consider that a success. I gotta go because this is the longest I've ever worked in my life, and I need to remedy this quickly with another schmarmy networking cocktail hour. This is what you do. At one of those, with the cocktails, and your schmooze, and you wiggle your fucking shoulders like a douchebag. Hit subscribe and share, and while you're at it, check out my office appropriate attire at bextees.com. It's not really office appropriate. I'm a liar. These glasses don't even have lenses.